everyone, today, I'll discuss about ESP1, Wi-Fi module, and how it can be used as a microcontroller. ESP1 is an inexpensive, small-sized Wi-Fi module, which has a built-in microcontroller. But, this microcontroller doesn't have much I.O. pins. This module is very useful for IoT based and other projects, though, it has few I.O. pins. About a month ago, I created a wireless two-channel switch using this module. This module uses L106 32-bit RISC microprocessor core, based on the Tensilica X Tensa Diamond Standard 106 micro running at 80 MHz, and it has a flash memory of 1 MB. Moreover, this small module allows microcontrollers to connect to a Wi-Fi network. For a long time, I've been using Arduino boards for most of my projects. However, when I started working with the ESP1 module, I was surprised. Because, it provides very good feature, and cost less than any other microcontroller boards, such as Node MCU and Arduino Nano. ESP1 board costs about $3. Here is the pin configuration and specifications of the ESP1 module. And here is a short specification of these three boards. Now, I'll show you how to program this board. I'm using ESP1 USB Programmer Adapter to program this board. This ESP1 USB Programmer is based on CH340IC. CH340 is a USB bus converter IC. To make the ESP1 go into serial programming mode, GPIO0 needs to be connected to the ground pin. However, these pins are not connected in the converter module. So, I soldered a button underneath the serial converter module. This button allows me to connect GPIO0 to the ground pin. Now, I'll connect it to the computer. While connecting, I'll press and hold the button. This will put the ESP module into programming mode. Now, I'll open Arduino IDE software to program the ESP board. But, by default there is no option available for ESP boards in the board manager. So, we have to install the ESP boards to the board manager. Now, I'll go to preference and paste the board manager URL of ESP boards. Then, I'll search for ESP board on the board manager, and install it. Now, I'll go to Tools, and set the board to generic ESP8266. After that, I'll set the built-in LED to 1. Now, I'll upload a sketch name blink. This ESP board has only one LED, and that LED is connected to the GPIO2 pin. So, in the sketch, I'll set the output to GPIO2.
everything is working perfectly. Thank you for watching. Stay innovative.